hi guys welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you're new to my platform welcome please hit that subscription button it would totally mean the world to me all right, we got Snow White and her animal friends. You inspire trust and confidence in others. We got Fiona and a unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. We got 929 is the message straight out the gate. And I feel like something about your spirit animal is significant or important. But I feel like you give others hope. And that's a beautiful thing. All right, we got 929 here. 929 is a combination of energies and vibrations of the numbers 9 and 2, with the number 9 appearing twice and amplifying its influence. The number 9 resonates with spiritual awakening, leading by positive example, inner wisdom, philanthropy, serving humanity, and the universal spiritual laws. The number 2 relates to balance and harmony, duality and partnerships, adaptability, diplomacy, and service to others. Combine these energies and angel number 929 suggests that you are on a spiritual path and should continue to trust in the universe's plan for you. Keep your thoughts positive and you will attract positive outcomes and opportunities in your life. This number is a reminder to remain faithful in your life's purpose and to continue to serve others with grace and humanity. 929 is also a message from your angels to stay connected to your higher self and to trust in the spiritual journey you're on. Your angels are reminding you that you are on the right path and to continue to move forward with confidence and grace. The number is a symbol of positive affirmations and as is such, it is important to keep your thoughts and outlook on life positive. 929 is a powerful manifestation number. Its energies are amplified and it aligns with you with the vibrations of abundance and prosperity. Through manifestation, the angels are encouraging you to stay focused on your goals and aspirations. Keep your thoughts positive and centered on what you wish to achieve and trust that the universe will provide you with everything that you need to succeed. 929 is an indication that you need to connect with your higher self. The angels are reminding you to stay true to your spiritual journey and to trust the universe's divine plan. This number is a symbol of enlightenment and spiritual awakening, and it invites you to explore your spiritual side and to connect with your inner wisdom. So 929 is a signal that you should allow your soul to guide you to the person you truly deserve. This number is an indication that a meaningful connection is on its way and it invites you to trust in the universe's plan for your love life. The angels are encouraging you to open your heart and to trust in love. So 929 reminds us that focus and hard work can lead you to abundance. The angels are reminding you to stay aligned with your purpose and to remain dedicated to your goals. Keep your thoughts and actions focused on creating abundance and trust in the universe's plan for your career and finances. As far as your twin flame, 929 is a powerful message to trust the journey. This number is a reminder to continue, continue to grow, evolve, and stay true to your spiritual path. Keep your thoughts and energies aligned with positivity and focus on creating a deeper connection with your twin flame. Biblically, 929 refers to the number of years from Adam's creation to the start of Noah's flood, signifying or simplifying the beginning and also the end. This number is symbolic of spiritual cleansing and rebirth, inviting us to let go of the past and embrace new chapters in our lives. So 929 holds significant meaning and power. There are negative connotations that come with it. If you're experiencing upheaval, instability, or chaos in your life, this number might be a sign of caution. The angels are telling you not to be too complacent. Be mindful of your surroundings and stay alert in any potential dangers. So 929 is a powerful number that holds deep spiritual meaning. When you see this number repeatedly, it is a sign from your angels to stay connected to your higher self and to trust in the universe's plan for you. Keep your thoughts positive, stay in line with your purpose, and let go of any negative energies. Trust in the spiritual journey, and you will find success and abundance. Amen. So Fiona and a unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. In order for you to see a unicorn, you have to be a pure soul. So something about this year significant or important because 29 is a leap year and this year was a leap year. All right. So release and let go. We got King of Cups because that's what is basically saying. So the energy of releasing the past and stepping into the present is what for some reason they're saying. We got energy of the unexpected conflict and movement. Support yourself before you can support others. We got subtle, crafty wisdom, fierce nature, and calm exterior. Um, consider it 
balanced, and generous. So you inspire trust and confidence in others. So people look up to you. All right, I see an emperor there. And here go the empress here. I saw the em emperor first and now the empress is here. So be happy with the results of your actions. We got fertility, beauty, happiness, nature, pleasure, development, success. I feel like this is like a very reassuring, calm and like type message. Everything is going to be okay. All right, we got two cards coming out. We got an ace of swords here and we have the hangman. It says, speak your mind to solve your problems. Logic, power, the heart of the matter. Insight, clarity, breakthroughs, and beliefs. We got waiting, sacrifice, hesitation, suspension, recalibration. The universe is saying you need to talk. You need to open up your mouth. Don't let things continue to persist. You got to say something to somebody. But new communication. All right, looking at world from the world from different perspectives. So this side, that side, and, and any other side you can see it from. All right, because... From this person's perspective, they got a lot to do. And so, you know, there's that. And then you have a lot to do. And then there's that. So everybody may not be looking at the amount of work or the amount of time that other people have um, to have to put into something or to have to do something. Okay. All right. We have death here. So the ending of something. So a stop and a pause before a death and a restart but that's what it said noah's the adam and eve and then noah's flood so the amount of time it's like the amount of time it had to take for a cycle to go ahead and play itself out is basically what that's giving me um we got growth always means having to leave something behind transformation changes ending of a cycle transition transition time necessary changes control organization duality and form so something had to just play itself out so i may be 47 years old so i may have been born in 75 73 71 74 excuse me some i may be 31 some i may be 33 that's also a master number some i may have been born in 92 um 95 94 93 91 All right, but either way, we got there may be challenges ahead. You can face them. Competitions, challenges, struggles, advantage, and gain. Overcoming a situation or circumstance. We got perseverance here. We got justice here. Use your intuition, set your moral compass, truth, clarity. So speak your truth in a situation. All right, we got the magician here. We got manifestation energy here. So February 21st, February 24th, February 27th, 23rd, 25th. All right, we got March 14th, March 17th, March 15th, March 13th, March 12th here. All right, we also have rest a time to rest, a time to let go, a time to just, I said, let go of something. So something has to be let go of, something has to be sacrificed. In order to manifest something, you got to give something in order to get something. So use your intuition to set your moral compass, true clarity, cause and effect, external justice, balance, fairness, accountability. So everything is coming into balance. Today has been a theme of balance. Things are being balanced out for you. You can make your imagination real. So creative power, skill, adaptability, originality, self-confidence. Um, take time out and the answers will come. We got rest, ease, restoration, recharging, reflection, abundance, stability, and firm foundations. A foundation to rest on. All right. So that's about legacy inheritance. All right, so we have a King of Wands energy here. Use the dynamic energy of a leader, a visionary, successful, swift expansion, strength, power, will, courage, and leadership. We also have which way do you need to go or what are you going to do? Because listen to your inner voice when making decisions. We got stalling and decision strength through suffering. So you may have had to have a, a pause, a wait for a minute. 
it could also be you at a crossroads determining which which way you should go or what you should do but remember you inspire confidence and trust in people so you being the leader i feel like it is the new direction what is it that needs to happen mm, look at that and then we got find your inspiration and take action so i feel like deciding which which way to go or which way to kind of navigate like maybe the group or the uh the situation or the circumstance so preparation planning expansion established force notability success openness and honesty so expansion of ideas groups and growth so something that grows and it blooms like be happy with the results of your actions the empress is here and make sure you support yourself before you do anything else. So secure your own mask before you do anything else. So you got to do what's best for you. And then doing what's best for you helps the group, helps the team. Because remember, you inspire trust and confidence in every in, in people or things around you. So that means that they're going to, they trust you. Okay? So gift of sacred sight, I, the gift of sacred sight. I feel like maybe you have the gift of pres pref mm. you have the gift of premonition or you have the gift of being able to see. So a seer. So Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming towards my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.